Ever wonder how a rocket gets its push? In our experiment, we are showing how impulse affects the thrust and flight of our rocket. To do this, we will be varying the cross-sectional area and pressure of our rocket launcher, which will affect the impulse and thus the distance our rocket travels. And now let's see some real life applications. Let's see my... to have for the experiment. Zero choke, 40 PSI. Ready? Fire. Okay, we have uh, 40 PSI with 25% choke. That is a lot farther. This is 50% choke at 40 PSI. Ready? Fire. PSI, zero choke. Fire. Sixty PSI, twenty five per cent choke. Ready? Fire. Time to crunch some numbers. At the top of the page, you will see the equation for mass flow rate. In our experiment, everything under the radical and C at the front of the equation are considered to be constant. We are, however, varying A, the cross-sectional area of the tube's point of discharge. The original diameter of the discharge point is 1.5 centimeters. At this point, there is 0% choke. To achieve 25% choke, a washer with diameter of 1.125 centimeters will be attached. This provides 25% choke. To achieve 50% choke, a washer of 0.75 centimeters is attached to the end of the tube. As you can see, the units for mass flow rate are kilogram per second. This will be essential in connecting our experiment to impulse. We will now analyze the effect of constricting airflow when pressure is a constant 40 psi and the con constriction changes from 0 to 45% choke. At the top of the page you will see the equation for impulse set equal to mass flow rate times the distance of the tube. For both impulse and mass flow rate times distance, the units are kilogram meters per second or newton seconds. It is very important to note that impulse and m dot is acting on the rocket as long as the rocket remains on the tube. The resulting parabolic launch of the rocket is evidence of the conservation of momentum. To find the force and the time of this impulse, we must first analyze the parabolic path of the rocket. By doing this, we see the initial velocity of the rocket leaving the tube is equal to the final velocity of the rocket on the tube. We then divided the distance the force is acting by the average velocity of the rocket on the tube. This gives us the time the force is acting on the rocket. By finding the acceleration, we are able to find the magnitude of the force acting. These numbers are then used to find the mass flow rate, which is 2.09 kilogram seconds under 0% choke and 40 psi. By using the same process, we were able to find that when the flow was constricted by 25%, m dot equaled 3.12 kilograms per second. In addition to increases in the value for m dot, we saw large increases in the magnitude of the acceleration, velocity, distance, and time the rocket was in the air. 
we saw a large decrease in the time the rocket remained on the tube as well. In conclusion, 